Hello everyone, thank you for joining again. My name is Taylor and today I'm going to teach you about multi-dimensional arrays. So far we've covered single dimensional arrays, but now let's get into a more complex data structure called multi-dimensional arrays. First let's go ahead and create our Python file. I'm going to be using K as our text editor today, so go ahead and click on save. And we'll give this a name of multi.py. Okay, we have our Python file up and ready. Now let's go ahead and create a single dimensional array and then let's create a multi dimensional array. So we'll give it a variable name. I'll put reg array is equal to open and close brackets and in those brackets let's give it some numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is a regular array, and now let's see how it differs from a multi-dimensional array. What you need to know about multi-dimensional arrays are that they are arrays within arrays. Let me show you. So I'll put mult array is equal to open and close brackets. In those brackets, let's say one, comma, let's open another bracket and give it different numbers. We'll give it seven, comma, eight, comma, nine. And now let's add another comma after the array. And then let's give this zero. So this is a multi-dimensional array. As you can see, we have an array within an array. So how would we get those values inside of the second dimension of this array? Well, we need a nested for loop. Let me teach you about nested for loops now. If you recall, a regular for loop goes like this, for i in range, open and close parentheses, in those parentheses, let's say length, open and close parentheses again, let's send in our reg array, add a colon at the end, and then let's say print, open and close parentheses, in those parentheses, let's send in reg array at index i. So this is the way we loop through a regular array or a single dimensional array. For a multi-dimensional array, we need to do something different. Let me show you now. We would say for i in range length of mult array. And now add a colon at the end, hit enter. Now let's add some logic so we can call our nested for loop. We would say if, open and close parentheses, and in those parentheses, let's say type, open and close parentheses again, mult array at index i double equals list. So what is this saying? Well, this is saying if the data type of the multidimensional array at index i, so as this loops, it's going to check the data type of each item in this list. So for this, it's going to be an int. So this is not true for the first round. But this is true because this is a list on the second round. And then on the third round, it's not true because this is also an int. Now let's go ahead and create our nested for loop. Let's add a colon at the end. And let's say for j in mult array at index i, end it with a colon. Now what this is saying is for every element in this multidimensional array, so for every element in here, loop through and get each element, so 7, 8, and 9. Now let's go ahead and print J. Now if we run this, you're going to see that it will only print this array. Let's go ahead and try this out. Let's clear the screen and say Python and then the name of our file. As you can see, it looped through the array. It also printed out this regular array. So let's comment this out. We'll have to add a pound sign and let's put pass. If we don't use pass here, 
we will get an error, a syntax error. So let's go ahead and add this pass so that way whenever this for loop runs, it won't do anything in the code. So let's save this and let's rerun this program. As you can see, it only printed out the multi-dimensional array. Now if we wanted everything printed out, including the non-multi-dimensional arrays, we can do this by adding an else statement right here. Say else print mult array at index i. Let's save this and let's rerun this program. As you can see, it ran through everything within the list. So we have 1, then we have 7, 8, 9, and then 0. So that's everything within this mult array, including the multi-dimensional array here. I hope this helped you understand how multi-dimensional arrays work. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments, and I invite you to subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time.